fuck. I know exactly what I'm doing right now, you guys. Gentle folk, today we do the impossible. What the governments of China, Russia, and the U.S. could not do independently, we will do together. That's right. Beat the randomizer blindfolded. Okay, God, I'm scared to put this on, Kira. <laughs> do I remember everything? Is this an open seed? We generated an open seed, right, Kasten? Uh, someone spelled my name, Kira, with it. Q, Q, I Kira, Kira, love it. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Ready for this? Yeah. Let's do this. Excellent. Wait, is it two tiles over? Wow. First chest, you guys. That's fine. Okay, that was not a Y item, you guys. Let's see if it was the gloves. Okay, it is not the gloves. That's a good thing to start with. 300 rupees. Probably, actually. <laughs> Down to heart and half, should probably reset. Insane card. <laughs> oh god. Okay, that was a twenty, I think. I have at least one item. Oh fuck, I should have checked if it was bombs first. God damn it. Oh, uh, do I reset? Okay, I'm actually gonna reset. I want that potion, god damn it. Now the problem is I won't know if I pick up a bottle here or the bombs, which one comes first. So I might just drink the potion again, but at least this time, see, that's definitely a heart. It doesn't help me though. Because I can't remember how many times I item through the menu before. I should have been paying attention. Oh well, if I use the bottle, it's not the end of the world.
There we go. Jesus. I mean, this is this is a part of the blind run, you guys. So there's a lot that I haven't practiced or developed any strats for. Should be able to just hold up from here. Okay, there's a bench there that's in my way. Is the left bench or the right bench? <laughs> oh god. Uh. No. You, no. <laughs> I'm saying just confirm. No. No. No confirming. No. You're not allowed to do anything. The fuck? <laughs> no! Okay, well, I'm gonna try left here. Okay. Sweet. Easy peasy. <laughs> no sweat. What what's the timer say, Kira? Twenty thirty-six. Hey, we're gonna sub sub our cack everybody. How the hell am I gonna do this? How the hell am I gonna do this? I can't even remember how you do this room normally. Drop the bomb, go south, push the block, come up around, okay. So I'm not going to get that chest yet. Okay, so there is a block there. If I hold left, that should not be a pushable block yet. Perfect. Uh, except for I went all the way to the left there. That should not have done that. This is, this is one of the blind portions of the run where I don't have any strats. We'll just have to do it on memory. Jesus, you guys! What the hell? How is this so hard? Whose idea was this? This is so dumb. I'm in this chest. I want some progress. I think that stays open though. That's not what I meant to do. Cool Papa Bell says, who knew playing this game without looking would be hard? <laughs> I know, we're not even in the dungeons yet, you guys. Oh, that's a good item. <laughs> that should be the second block. Why is that not... Do I have a, the wrong mental map? I swear to god, it's the third tile. Could it be the fourth tile? Okay, we'll try that. I'm sure I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. I'm getting caught in all the same places. Yep. <laughs> Wait until you get to the dungeons. Actually, that shouldn't be frustrating. That should be easy peasy compared to this. But, I mean, honestly, this block puzzle. I should have practiced this. Alright, I'm gonna get some other progress and come back to this. Okay. 
Sure. Still have bombs out. Where's the damn clinks? There we go. Actually, I don't need a clink here. I can just do this. Okay, or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you guys. Okay, that should be the bottom left wall, I hope. Alright. Oh, right, the pots, they do something, the barrels do something weird in the bottom right corner. Don't they? Question, yes, right? it is. <laughs> God, I'm a genius. <laughs> Boom. Okay, that's the NPC right there. Bushes? What? Uh oh. Bushes? <laughs> uh, save and quit. I have no idea where I am. Oh, you know what? Let's check some items. Okay. Link's house. Got a bomb. Let's count how many. It's three bombs. Five bombs. Can't count. Seven bombs. Okay, so some item that probably needs magic, or it could be a lot of other items, too. It could be my bottle. Could just be a bottle and a bombs, is all i found so far. I'm going to reset. If I can find my goddamn super NT. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay. Don't help me. Okay. Found it. All right, so I have bomb selected. Now, if I tap right, burp, burp. now if I tap right, should be bomb sound. If all I have is a bomb in a bottle. Okay. Okay, I should be somewhere near the tavern. But I'm not. So I'm to the left of the tavern now, is where I think I am. So that's the wall next to the tavern. Now I don't know if I can clink all the way up this wall. I think there's like a little bit of inset pots or something. That's not a good sound. Okay, that's the edge of the tavern. So if I hold up, I should clink against a wall. And then I can... Tap, tap, tap. Up, up, up. Wall. Okay, I'm still stuck in there. Tap, tap, tap. Up, up, up. Still stuck. Let's go south. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Bushes! Bushes! Corn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 20, 50? And then I should be able to hold south and tap. Not bushes. Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. I think I went... I think I overshot it. Maybe not. I went in somewhere. 
In there. Oh my god. I think I'm in there. I thought I was supposed to get more quiet when I'm in. Hold on, let me let me double check. Okay, yes, I'm in there. Dude, easy. <laughs> Taz Dan said, OMG, he's gonna get in the tower. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> no easy pushes. peasy. Okay, now this is controversial maybe, but I'm not actually gonna get the item here because this is a pain in the butt to get to, and it's easy to get to bottle, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of the tavern <laughs> once I get the item. Sub one pack minus blind set out. So we're gonna drop off the bottle first. Hello? Cool. Glad I stopped off for that item. I really need that. I think I'm in the doorway. Oh, I was not sl slashing the sword in the correct direction because I was in the doorway. Okay, so now I should be able to max south. Pick up a pot. Get the dang chest. Ugh. Rip. Oh, let's test some items, shall we? Okay, we know we got bombs. No, we have the boomerang now. Okay, bombs. Burp, burp. Burp, burp. Okay, so all we picked up there is the boomerang. Uh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> I have prepared for that, you guys. I, I'm not going to delete my save file. Basically, this is how it works. I listen to the music. I tap A, nothing on the direction. If I still hear the, hear the music, then I reset. That's it. It's easy peasy. If I hear no music, I'm safe to select a starting location. So there's there's no danger unless I'm rushing it. There's no danger. Okay, bush, back up a little bit. Face south. Hmm, yes. Quite. We'll have to come back for that one. Okay. Get your maze race hype going. I'm not going to show you what it is because we're picking it up no matter what, so... Okay, there are five bushes. Half up, max left, up left, slash up, two up, full up, Full left, down tap three, left, and then down left, hop down, go down a bit, but don't hump off the ledge, talk to the guy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy, guys. still be able to make it. Oh, I know where I am. I think. Yeah, that's too late though. I missed it. Nope. <laughs> okay, now I'm, now I'm well and truly lost. I shouldn't have gone for it as soon as I fucked it up. That should be a bush right there. So I just slashed a bush to my left. That's where I was supposed to go. So that means... 
Oh, does up left not work? I thought I could just hold up left there. in the same pocket. left work there. Straight left, up left. Down left is my best bet. I'll just try it. It's way too long. You can't charge your sword there. Hopefully I didn't actually do it, because <laughs> I didn't mean to hop off the ledge there. So I, I decided to just do, I didn't say this, but I'm going to do Dam before Mini Moldrum Cave, just because, I mean, that's the order you do these things in. So, so now I'm going to try to do this block puzzle, an easier block puzzle than Blind's Hut. One, two, three, one, two, three. Every time. Oh, you don't clink on switches, I believe. Fuck. That's the switch. Arusta says current one damn block puzzles. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, this time I'm gonna do this a little bit more safely if I can. Than this last word. Wait, I had magic? Where the fuck did I get magic from? God oh, damn it! Oh, no. But if I have magic actually, that might be worth resetting. Okay, so boomerang. That's a bomb. Let's just confirm. Herbert. I might just not have enough magic. Herbert. Boomer. Okay. I'm gonna keep the bombs. So straight this time. Fuck.
Oh, I can't hold down left because it'll put me in the bottom left corner of the room. Some doors, you can't hold a diagonal through them. Okay. Go right. Guess. Okay, max down till I clink. Shit. to do that whole fucking thing again, the Annie Fairy. Getting better at that. I think. Oh, come on. Through the door. Good. Alright, so I think I've been hit two, three times? No, no. I must have only been hit twice. I'm, I'm at two hearts. Once? Twice. <laughs> Unless I have mail, I've only been hit twice. Okay, now I'm on the left side of the dam. Now I need to find where the item is. I do have the benefit of having a boomerang. Oop. Good. Sweet. <laughs> I meant to do that. Easy peasy. Wasn't even worried about it. Alright, let's, let's find out if this was an item I needed. That's the only thing I can think of for how I fell in the water. I hold diagonal upright. I should get to another water hopping spot. I don't know, let's hold up. Okay, I just went in somewhere. I don't think this is the potion shop. I think this is the fortune teller. Uh, it might be the potion shop. Hold on. It doesn't make the sound, the shop noise. Okay, this is the potion shop. Fuck, I don't know which one is the potion. I don't know which one. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. I'm pretty sure it's to the left. Okay, so that's an item I'm up against right now. Now if I go max left and tap up... That sounded like a lot of money to me. I mean, I could just buy everything that's here. If I press... let's see here. On the boomerang... If I press down... hold on. So now if I go down... Okay, still boomerang. I go to bombs, and then I press down. Still bombs. So there's nothing in that vertical. That's what I'm testing right now. Uh, if I go to bottle, and then I press down, still refill. Okay, so no items are in the same vertical as each other. That's actually kind of useful information about what items I might have. Um, so what does that mean? Uh, it means that it's got to be a burper item that is not in the same column as a bottle, a boomerang, or a bomb. So it has to be in the third or fifth column, is my guess. And it's got to be before the bottom in the order, or before the bottle, which means that it can't be the mirror, and it can't be the cane of Burma. So, can't be the cane of Samara, either can't be the cape. Could be a book. It could be mushroom powder. Could be any medallion. Uh, not any medallion. It could be only Bombos or Quake. It could be other stuff that I'm not thinking about, I'm sure. Oh my god, if I have a medallion right now, 
I just need to, I need to do that, like, right now. How the hell can I get magic quickly? If I've got a medallion, that's pretty good. Should I go up to Secret Passage before I do Mini Mulder King? Okay, now I don't know if I'm on the right side or the left side here, but it honestly doesn't matter. Or does it? What the fuck? How, what? The fuck? How is there a screen transition there? Oh, wait, what? Where am I? Trying to line up again. Just want to make sure he's not in my horizontal. I don't think he is. There we go. Get wrecked. It might be just easier to go through the courtyard. Yeah, let's just try that. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Now's my opportunity. I gotta go quick, though. Get in there, Link. Fuck. I know exactly what I'm doing right now, you guys. I'm knocking his spears out of the air. Wait, what? That did two hearts of damage to me? I knew I was knocking spears out of the air, but I had to do something. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to do there. Okay, courtyard. Into the craziness. hear a clink, I'm gonna release a sword spell. Actually, no. I'm just gonna shoot. Get wrecked. Oh, there's another one. No, it's the, it's the red guard from before. You can't see me. Alright. Okay. I Apparently I already slashed the bushes, which I did not expect. No, after I get these items, it's a good break point. And the magic that's here. guard right in front of me. I'm gonna restun him. Magic. That's part of why we came here. Because mad medallions are huge for the run. Okay, now this is a little bit hard for me to line up on. I know what that sound means. We're gonna get it a little bit more magic because this is a great opportunity to get some magic. Okay, that sound means I am now full magic. So I could actually go to do escape now. <laughs> that would be so dumb. <laughs> um, Okay, I need to take a break though. We're gonna eat some lunch. I need to use the bathroom, so... I have the menu open, I'm on Boomerang, and I'm gonna pause the timer and walk away for a sec. Hello, welcome to the end of the video. You probably have a ton of questions. I'm gonna do my best to guess what those are. First of all, who are the disembodied voices you hear? So, off to the screen, to the, you know, this side of me, is my girlfriend Kira, or chat, call her Q-I-R-A. I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that, but anyway, 
Um, yeah, she's here. Sometimes you're going to hear somebody on a Discord call with me. These people do not give me any help whatsoever. That's not what they're here for. They're just here to help me interface with chat so that I can find out if people like donate or subscribe or if they're telling me good job or they're giving me shit or whatever. As long as it doesn't contain spoiler information, then I, I would like to hear that information. So that's how we solved that problem. Why did I do this, you might ask? It's not just because I'm a masochist. Uh, the things that I love most about playing Link to the Past Randomizer and why I've played it for the thousands of hours that I have is I enjoy expanding my own game knowledge. I want to know every single quirk and minutia of the game. And also, I like developing new strats or strategies. And that's probably what I'm more known for in the community is strat development. So this was a idea that I had that would push those things to the absolute extreme that I could imagine. I'm going to play the game blindfolded, but also blind. Blind in the sense that I don't know where the items are shuffled to, but also blind in the sense that I haven't attempted this before and I haven't even practiced it very much. So for the vast majority of the rooms in the game, they'll be totally unpracticed, like in terms of blindfolded you know, blindfolded strats. So I'm gonna have to develop new strats on the fly or get myself out of hairy situations using only my game knowledge and memory of the game. And I thought that would be a great challenge. Originally, this was intended as sort of like a, a, um, a last hurrah, like before I retire from the game. I didn't end up retiring right away. I wasn't able to, but now I am retired or whatever. So um, anyway, and this was a great note to go out on. It was just like the, the most impressive thing that I could ever think to possibly do in the game. And now I'm done, I'm done with it. <laughs> So what settings did we use? If you play the randomizer, you know that there's a lot of different settings we could use for randomly generating the seed. There are a few restrictions that I did place in terms of logic or like what the game could require me to do just because it's they're not known to be possible. Like for instance, the Moldworm 1 and 2 bosses, uh, they're surrounded by pits and there's, there's some restrictions that make it so, you know, people who actually do practice and play this game blindfolded, they don't do this boss without certain items because it's thought to be impossible. So there were very few restrictions that were placed because of Moldorm. Otherwise, I asked, you know, I, I generated a seed um, that had additional bottles in the item pool as well as swords and I forget what else. There was one other thing. I think it was armor. And the reason that I did that is just because it was possible that the seed could have given me something really trolly that was virtually impossible or if not impossible, just really painful that would have taken me like literally two or three or four times as long as it already did just because of how long it would take me to every time I died, get back to where I was. So this was just like a quality of life thing. This The settings that I use are also known as easy mode or it used to be a setting in the randomizer where you could select easy and that would influence the item distribution. So that was the inspiration for the settings I used. So this is or used to be a legit setting in the randomizer and that's what I based it off of. Other than the additional qualifications that I had um, for the person who reviewed this spoiler log for me. They didn't tell me anything. They just reviewed it to ensure that Moldorm was beatable, you know, using what we think we know about what's possible in a blindfolded run. And I also added on a few more restrictions. For example, I told him, you need to ensure that somehow Turtle Rock is absolutely required because that is a dungeon that I practice. You have to practice it in order to do it. It would just be impossible without having some strats before you go into it in a blindfolded run. And I practiced it so much, I wanted to ensure that it actually came up in the run. So I told him this has to be required. So there's like some small things like that. My original plan for this run is that it would occur over my birthday weekend, so two days, and I estimated around 20-ish hours. That's not what happened. No spoilers, but that's definitely not what happened. You're going to have to find out in the next episode.